Hello everyone. So it is 8.30 in the morning and I'm having going having to go down to breakfast a little bit early this morning because Kentrell said people are having issues being on time. So we're starting class 15 minutes early today and we're going to the Munich Documentation Center. This one is in Munich. The one before it was in it wasn't this one but yeah um that's what we're doing today and then we're set free and we have a course and then we have again 12 to 5 open but i probably won't be doing any reporting today because our story is due tonight and i didn't finish it yet so um but yeah see you guys later <laughs> So um, we got to the center, had class for like 45 minutes, and it is 10:20. Our tour doesn't start till 11. It's freezing cold outside, so now we are walking to find some coffee because they won't take us any earlier. So yeah, we're just walking down the street, and I'm freezing cold, and I have on a turtleneck, pants, fuzzy socks, and this jacket, and I'm still freezing. So. But oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. Oh, there's so many right there. Okay. This is literally why I can't have nice things. I went to go flush the toilet, and why did my whole nail get stuck? Yes, yes. Great. Great. So now I have to go get my nails done. And I heard it's really expensive. So that's fine. I want to know who motherfucking representing it here tonight. Hold on, hold on. I keep you back in. How can I explain myself? So we're just leaving the documentation museum and it's actually pretty sad. Everybody's like, really eerie right now because you know all the stuff that happened in Germany in the Holocaust with Hitler it's actually it's really really sad and there's we have a classmate who's actually Jewish so that's really like a touchy topic for him but it's really crazy to see how one person was able to do so much destruction just because he didn't care for one certain type of individual and the pictures and the videos and the stories are just very vivid and graphic so it's like, hmm. Then before we left, our teacher posed us with a question. It's like when you see like discrimination towards one certain type of person, like you know how racism or for being gay or whatever, what do you do in that situation? But do you say, do you stop it? Or do you walk away and let it happen? Mm -hmm. Think on it. The most genius thing I've seen a hot spot in the middle of the street. In the middle of the street or on the side of the street. Get your phone. Um, it's 5.30 and I'm very much well waking up from my nap. And have two hours to write this paper. So yeah, let's get to it. I don't 
why, but I'm just now looking and appreciating this little kitchen area and coffee area in here because they literally have everything. Pots, silverware, then we have a whole fridge, a whole little dishwasher. What the heck is this? I don't know what this is. Oh, this is trash. Wow, trash. Oh, excuse my nail. Plates. Oh, that is Tupperware. Oh my gosh, it's the first time I've ever seen anything like this. Oh, I'm about to take all of the bread and meat and everything from breakfast. So they shouldn't have did that. So I'm literally outside my room because my roommate is asleep and she's like a really light sleeper. So I just came out here to talk to y'all. Yeah. Okay, so today, as you can see, I broke my nail. Um, I don't deserve nice things because if you know me, literally, I break my nails all the time. And it's, it, it don't even be my fault. Like, literally, the bathrooms have these things where you, like, push. And literally, I pushed it and my finger got caught and it clipped off my whole fingernail. So I was like, great. But in other news, I finally talked to my mom. I promise she's been avoiding me. I've been trying to call her and everything, and she be acting like she don't know how to work technology. So we finally talked today, so that was great. And I got to see my baby Nola. I miss her so much. But, um, yeah. But tomorrow we meet with our coaches, and Kentrell got these, like, journalists in Munich to come out and talk to us. So we got to look all business casual. Um, honestly, I need to pack for Italy and get my life together because I still have a bunch of stuff to do. Like while I'm here, I still need to apply to internships because uh, I'm not trying to be in Athens this summer. No, ma'am. I was there last summer and it was terrible. It was terrible. Well, um, that's all. I'm about to go to bed because your girl's in here and she is sleepy. All right, bye y'all.